Okay, hello and welcome to Vanilla TV. You're watching UV vs. Bluetooth set. I'm Reverel and you're here with my friend Admirable. How are you, James? Oh, I'm feeling good, man. I am ready for some open mics and testing out the new casting talent here. We've got an Israeli with us tonight, an Irishman and an Israeli. Who would have thought it? Amazing combo, man. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah, man. First time Nervous. casting. Nervous. On my edge. Not only your first time casting, but you're casting with the king of TF2. That's why it's me, <laughs> admirable. Uh, yeah, the... yeah, I heard a lot about your casting. <laughs> well, uh, everyone knows DJC is the real casting talent around here. But uh, if you have just joined us on Twitch TV, this is competitive. Team Fortress 2 with Vanilla TV. We're going to bring you some ETF2L Season 13, powered by TT Esports Action of Division 1. And... This is a week 5 fixture, it's going to be played on Process and Badlands and it's going to be between Lutu Set and UV Gaming aka UV Ninjas so it's basically a Finnish team against a Russian team and Reverell I know you're playing for Avenue Esports at the minute in Division 1 what can you tell me about these two teams? Well, well we played Lutu Set uh, on etf 2 l they were really strong DMers, really strong but we managed to get them on uh, process with some tactics, so I guess process is a, li a little less uh, about the DM and more about the tactic. But as I know, UV are really aggressive and focus on their tactics, uh, like going really aggressive on the medic usually. So it's gonna be interesting to aggressive teams to great DMs. It's interesting as well that uh, UV have had some roster changes. I know they got Commander X in to play, but it's actually White Glow who's going to be medic today. It seems he's on the server right now. I heard that Hitman wasn't going to be able to play, but I see him here now. Forsaken was talking about yeah, using a sub left. for someone, but I know they got rid of Ordinator not so long ago. A bit yeah. of a uh, roster trouble there, but they took they... Blade in. It's an improvement in my opinion. You think so? Yeah, yeah, we played sometimes with Ordinator and he didn't do well, in my opinion. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, I think there's maybe some real talent here on the uh, Lutu set side. You've got like Santu, who played for Seacrass in the Premier Division a season or two ago. Then you've got like Mind, who's just an unbelievable sniper. Yeah, he's, but he's amazing. Overall, uh, UV Gaming would probably be the favourites here, they've just had more experience as a team, like they played and won Division 1 two seasons ago, took a season out and now they're back a few troubles, but they still have a chance to win the division. Like looking at the tables, they're sitting on 9 points right now, but they've only played 2 games, they still have 2 games in hand over Lutu set. This is actually Lutu Set's last fixture of the season, so if they actually win this one in straight maps, they can get second, but they can't even contend for first place. Yeah, so, no chance for first. Yeah, and it would be very, uh, be very narrow chance that they would actually finish second, like once the other games get played out. So far, their season has been pretty mixed in terms of results that are relevant to tonight's fixture. They got beat 3-2 in a golden cap by my DGB, aka. Uh, naughty bad men on Badlands and they got beat by Avenue like you say 3-2 in process Whereas UV Ninjas they played only Badlands so far and they managed to win that 5-0 against the current number one team my DGB.net Who were formerly known as Naughty Bad and I think they've just got picked up. That's an interesting move quite a few teams getting picked up by these uh, MGOs obviously Avenue yeah. joining you guys TF2 joining is up. getting stronger yeah, and I've heard... organization uh, paying attention to this game after I-46. It's good. I've heard rumours that there's going to be a, a TF2 tournament returning to Assembly Winter in Helsinki in February, although... In February, it's, yeah, I heard it about. It's only uh, whispers on the wind right now, it's not totally confirmed, but... I've said I feel like UV are the strongest, would you agree with me, man, or are you going to go against me? No, I'm with you on this, man. They have the edge on the demo, man. Hitman is really sick, and uh, the Lutu set demo man, Lizard, is um, is the weak link in this team, in my opinion at least. He's actually a player that's been around in the Finnish scene for a long time. He is, but his DM is weaker, 
than uh, Hitman. The man to watch, in my opinion, in Lutuset is uh, Tumpelol and Mind, of course. Tumpelol is a sick soldier, he's new. I never heard of him before we played them, but he was really good. Yeah, I think Kython's actually really solid as well. He's played a lot, seems quite keen, and he's not scared to go spy or, you know, off class, go snipe or anything like that. Even whenever his team has an advantage, I see him running spy and stuff, and I sort of scratch <laughs> yeah, in my it's head. Good but for spy, man. Yeah, a lot of the time it just needs to work out. Are you, uh, like, going by the, uh, your results with Avenue, like, which team do you have more trouble with? UV, definitely. Um, UV and Naughty Batman are the only teams that we have to play, and it's both on Turbine and Badlands and Gullywash. Um, if we get a 6 nil on UV Gaming, we have the the, ten, the chance to go to Prem, like second for uh, if we win 6-0, and if we win Naughty Batman as well, we can get the first place and not play the playoff against probably Deserto in my opinion. Yeah, are you confident? Do you think you can do it? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty confident on our Badlands, but everything can happen. I hope for the best. And, uh, what do you think about Israeli TF2? Obviously, uh, you just lost Matanen and Targus there at the start of the season. Big scandal, but is yeah, the Israeli scene on the rise? Yeah, Matanen was so nice, I never imagined he would shit. Takus is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> He was uh, obvious to cheat sometime, or try it at least. But yeah. the Israeli scene is uh, basically young kids before the army, so it's never growing, it's keeping on the same size because all the people are going to the army not uh, playing TF2 anymore and young people keep, it, keep coming to pickups and stuff and uh, it's keeping the same size. Really. Have you been to the army? Have you served your country? I'm still serving my country, but I'm on a base that uh, I'm coming home almost every day, so I can play competitive TF2. Wow, that's lucky. <laughs> yeah. And do you think, uh, you think your military training helps you become a better gamer? Uh, yeah, because I have the time to play. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I hope the Israeli borders are safe tonight that you've chosen to come and cast with us. I hope the Palestinians aren't yeah, coming in now. Yeah, or... tonight it's safe. <laughs> Bite might attack right now, you know, if he knows that you're not <laughs> on your post tonight, man. Oh, yeah, last night, to be honest, there were some missile attacks on uh, southern of Israel. Yeah. I joke about it, but it is obviously a, a very serious situation, but we'll not get it bogged is, down it is. in the the politics of it right now. Both teams have six players on the server. This is Process, a new map for Season 13. Although it's not new in America, the Europeans have just adopted it this season. What do you think of this map? Do you like it, man? Yeah, it's okay. I would rather play Badlands, obviously. But <laughs> this map is uh, quite good. We as Avenue are having a struggle playing it uh, consistent. But we won both our games on it, so I'm happy with it. Do you get a chance to play Sniper in Avenue? Um, sometimes, but I let Septic go Sniper, he's sick now. What do you think of the sniping options in this map? Is it is it too powerful or is it just a good balance? What? I didn't tell you, sorry. What, what do you think of the, the role of the Sniper in this map? Is it? Is oh, it... it's over, overpowered, really. Oh, yes, we're... so much sight. Oh, we are we're, starting We're now. going live here, so I'll say hello and welcome to Vanilla TV. This is Admirable with Revel and Hui on the stream. We're here for the ETFTL Season 13 part by TT Esports Division 1 Week 5 pictures between Lutu Set and UV Ninjas. Tell me what's happening on middle, Revel. I can see Blade jumping really aggressive, but it seems that Lutu Set scouts are finishing off with the others. Now I can see that Lutus are going aggressive, they got the edge, I think they're gonna win this mid man. Yeah, only three players up for the Russians right now, it's a one man advantage, and a nice positional advantage with soldiers on the crate and stuff, really just forcing the Russians to go out, there was no chance that they could re-push, they haven't done enough damage, and right now they need to be sure they don't get caught out, although Lutus are just playing this one quite slowly, they're gonna push through on the computer room side there, coming in undetected until it's going to be too late, but it is Uber versus Uber, so unlikely they're going to get a lot of damage done with this yeah. initial push. They got spotted. Oh. They're forced yeah. back. They're actually getting forced back, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're going back to middle to regroup. The best way to push it, it's going through choke, 
make the enemy team move and then go back and play on the picks and then push again. Yeah, part of the problem I find with going through choke is that you, if you just walk through, you end up down in a, in a little hole, like in a valley, so you need to make sure you have a good position by the time the uber fades. They have popped off here though. Both it the is, teams, yeah. Yeah, Ludu set with the initial play, slightly later uber from the Russians, but wow, Hitman jumps in, gets totally set with nice. his team. Nice, nice pick by Santu. Yeah, they I think he, he just gave, gifted it to him like it was too easy. Yeah. It was a fr free pick, man. Or two scouts, or oh, nice pick. Two scouts down for UV now. Yeah, that's gonna make it tough for them to put up any sort of defense Watch here. They for have a second. Out. Watch for a second on computer room, he's gonna get uh, Lotus at Faust. Oh, he's hidden. They haven't spotted him at all. They're all looking the other way at the combo right there. He's coming in now. He's sneaky. He's, <laughs> he's the just medic? Walks, he oh. ghosts past the soldier, drop downs onto the medic, two nice rockets! Pick. Sake, yeah. Wow, Reveril, you've got a keen sense for action. You saw that one coming, man. Yeah, I'm watching the keen uh, to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're first on last. Oh, they're getting time on the point right now. Santu picks up reds there. Part of Santu's that uh, down. Yeah, green berry combo. You had a, a Skype movie as well, you know which was better, the, the Reveril movie or the, the Green Beret movie? Oh, the Green Beret movie was awesome. Really good yeah. editing, yeah. But my movie was good as well, Delhi did an awesome job on it, thank you Delhi. Yeah, my favourite part of the movie was the commentary from Little Cedar. He was also <laughs> yeah. an open mic caster, I hope you can do yeah, a little wish. better than him. <laughs> Don't bully. From the Russians, Hitman is streaming forward, getting nice some frags, but ooh. Yeah, Forsaken just goes in a little bit too far and Santu getting all these easy frags, he's just there doing big damage all the time. You should be taking notes man, this is how you play Scout. <laughs> Don't worry, I can write it down. <laughs> what do you think they're going to do with this Uber? Are they just going to walk in or are they going to try and pop it off and get in their faces? Maybe try and hold it? Oh! They do get forced and they're onto the medic as well though, they get Wyklo who's just out of position there. Couldn't get back to the sewers in time and he gets destroyed. Kython picks up Hitman as well as Hit's Demo going and Medic. To the medic. Oh, he... to distraction though, he makes space for Blade to jump in as soldier. That was nice actually. I thought Reds was just playing it a bit dumb there, but he was actually trying to draw everyone's attention. Blade came in, just couldn't get that last rocket on, but did a little bit of damage onto Jose there. And Santu picks up another frag onto Re Rico. Santu just beasting here. Soldier from the sewers though! Forsaken again, nobody checked that side, just straight on to Jose there, Forsaken gets his man and this is going to make it difficult for Lutuset to push on to Spire with no heals, they've already lost Tumpelol. Oh, what way is it going to go, Reveril? Looks like they're holding on right now and uh, it's a man disadvantage here for the Russians, only three up against five at the minute. And it looks like Reveril's actually dropped out of Mumble. Classic is really internet there, I guess. So I'll be doing a pledge style solo cast for now, lucky me. And just checking that both medics are running that standard Uber charge. No crits creek in play just yet. It's only 25 minutes gone here in this ETF2 all season 13, powered by TT Esports Division 1 fixture. And we see Hitman playing very aggressively in his own med pack. Actually takes a lot of damage despite picking up that med pack, but he's done damage to his uh, opposite number, Lizard, who gets finished off by Red. Streams forward there, so that's a demo man advantage. But four players from UV Ninjas have gone down. It is a two man advantage as the Finns just stream forward. They're going to clean up all the frags before they even begin capping that middle point. A total wipe there, six down for the Russians. That is just brutal, brutal stuff. Reveril's still offline on Steam. Hopefully he hasn't been taken out by any of those Palestinian rockets. But right now it looks like the Russians are going to just compose themselves and hold on to their Spire for now. They managed to pick up two frags there but it's still a massive Uber advantage for Lutusets. Jose, he's sitting on 100%. He's getting ready to move in here. Only 20% for White Gloat. They're actually not getting ready to move in at all, they're sitting really far back waiting for those spawns to come in. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going through their heads right now. Is there some sort of master play going on? There's no spies, no snipers, no nothing, they just 
Now they're coming forward, they've got their spawns and they're feeling a little braver. They didn't want to fall to any Russian aggression, I guess. They're getting into position on the choke right now, but they're not entirely sure where that UV Ninja combo is. They've managed to clean up the flanks, so they're not going to get forced this time as they find Reds. And mine just rushes forward and get Hitman actually with the help of his medic. I just spotted that one. Uh, that was Jose pushing ahead with the scouts in that Uber, it seemed. But he's lost both scouts in exchange for a demo man pick. They might just push ahead here as it is. Four fins against three Russians, but the two spawns have come in. They need to get a frag and get out. They're getting time on the point as well. Big play from Tompolov and Kaithon just wrecking with those shotguns. The Russians can't get there in time. And it's going to be 2 0 to Lutuset. Interesting to note that Lutuset actually give Crack Clan, my own team, quite a run for their money in the uh, Process Cup. Obviously, Process is our home map, even though we do get 5 0'd by everyone on it. But they are definitely pretty decent on here. Hitman quite low as he comes to mill. He's pre-firing stickies onto that sewer door. I think he knows the wizard is liking to roll out there, especially if he doesn't see him in the initial phase of middle. Gets the stickies on and sends reds forward to try and pick him off, but Santu's there to deny. And again, the Russians are looking sloppy on middle. Three frags in deficit already. And only a lizard in that trade. This is just great for the Finns to go forward, but the crits is coming! I missed that one! <laughs> Russians! They start losing a few rounds and they break out the crits, Craig. This has worked out quite well for them so far, picking up Jose and Kauthon there with that one. And they're going to be able to hold on to the Spire, surely yes, Hitman finally picks off Mind, he was getting time on there. And they should be pretty confident moving forward, I'm trying to find out where the ninjas are. For the Finns, Kauthon is only coming in with his medic right now, but where is... Oh, Lizard's gone down. So only the combo up right now for Lutu said. Doing a little bit of spam, but they have no real intention of pushing into that middle point. They've been forced to back out and get a better position and keep building up that uber charge. Obviously, they you know that Crits Creek is still in play for UV Ninjas. Hopefully, they've remembered that, but they're committing so many players forward, it seems like they haven't. Oh, wow! They wanted to just go in and use the fact that the medic isn't invulnerable with Crits Creek and try and destroy him, but their timing was off and they just exposed their own medic to a flank. That was a Russian scout coming in and two-shotting Jose right there. Uh, oh, this is just... They're not able to handle the crits. Lutu set are crumbling under the crits creek pressure right now. They're scrambling to save their own point. They are going to survive for now. But White Glow has managed to stay alive. He still has that crit advantage. Oh! When White Glow goes down, crits is out of the equation for now. It looks like things are going to stabilise. The Finns might even want to push out already. They are trying to find an angle. They have some weak players though, but Tumpelol is getting the heels focused on him now as they move forward. Rico's on the Spire trying to deny it any push out, and they've already been a little bit slow as Hitman tries to make a play for that back cap, but gets denied. Reds on to Jose though on the flank, and there's actually a real battle going on here as, with Kauthon and uh, Reds as Hitman and Reds, I think, try to make a play for last. It's hard to see everything. When you are just one caster, please come back, Reverend. And oh I'm my back, god. Man, and I'm back, my internet seemed to fail me. Fuck's sakes. Tonight from all nights. What did <laughs> I miss? Well, basically, uh, Lutu set one another round fairly easily. And on the middle, nice, I missed nice. it initially. But UV sort of lost the middle. They fell out. And then they went forward with crits. They were just waiting on choke with crits and managed to pick up Medic and. Uh, Soldier on there and it, so it just went in their you, favor. But I'm watching Santo as a spy going behind. Uh oh. UV. Uh oh. I see him. Nice and soldier pick. Yeah, he would have let that medic pick. Lobby. It's crits again. He's decided and to stay with the crits. It's a fail. They pick up two frags though. Three frags. They can They're get it. Forward they the focus point. together. They're going to get Uber in time here, 99% though, that's um, just great, and it's going to be one spawn in 3 seconds, and then another 3 spawns in about 10 seconds, so they should be able to have a, enough bodies on the point to defend for now, yeah. and White Glow does retreat, UV but... Yeah, UV will have the crits advantage again, they will yeah, push. Exactly, but now that uh, Lutu set know about it, what are they going to do to stop it? They might even just push out before the crits comes into play, but Reds makes a play for the point, gets denied by Kauthon. This is almost like beating the Finns into doing something, they throw Ooh. away one, oh they throw nice, away two nice players, picks. three players, Santi's going crazy, and Mind just doing big work here, 
Wait, glue's like still when I use the crits crit, from computer room. Uh, are they? No, they're falling back. White glow. Going down. Nice play by Tumper Love. I think uh, White Glow must have wanted Hitman to use it, but there was uh, a bit of miscommunication, like his positioning suggested they yeah, wanted to go forward. Yeah, it seems they uh, wanted to push, but then decided, no, go back, and go back. They hesitated and they got punished for it right now. <laughs> oh, Hitman's oh. doing big work, gets the Uber forced they off, will. but gets taken down himself. Red is going behind them. Yeah, the Russians just need to they hide for the next few seconds. Backcap is on as well, forcing the Finns to go back. Oh, <laughs> oh gets the Uber so has to defend himself nice. in Mortal Kombat, but does eventually get taken down by Forsaken. And it's going to be three players apiece. This is not necessarily going to be easy for the Finns to push with. They don't have the spawns in their favour either. The Russians are going to spawn faster they and get back into this sooner. Yeah, they had two soldiers on top. It's easier to get the middle like this. And the soldier going swells. And he's going out. Uh, I would expect the Russians to be uh, making the play here, yeah, now that they have the, the they crits have coming up. Again. How will he execute this BB jump of player forward? Ah, they're gonna get bombed! Kython totally unsuccessful with that bomb. Second Great cover there. Tumble all goes down as well. How many players will they lose to this? Uh... Seems to be free. <laughs> but the crits was a fail, they didn't get even one player with it. But. Suicide soldiers did that. Yeah. They forced yeah. it. <laughs> they just gave the frags away for yeah. free. And this is a situation I like to be in. You know, I'm not. I don't mind being at an Uber disadvantage with crits, Craig, because you can always just use the crits to force the Uber, and then go back and build up your crit advantage again. And right now they're just going to push ahead with a little respect for the fact that Jose actually has Uber charge for Satan goes down trying to force it, and yeah, that is definitely. Yeah, the Finns are going to push off that man advantage and the fact they have the Uber Charge. Like on paper, Uber Charge should beat Crits Creek every time, but it doesn't always work out like that. Nice pick on the scout, and they're falling back. They're waiting to use the crits on the choke. They used it, and they forced. Ooh, and uh, Lizard really trying to get some frags here. He does pick up for Sagan. Does finish off, Hitman manages to make him crater there. The force of gravity ending his life, and right now... They oh. picked his heads on south. <laughs> Scout's cleaned up as well, yeah. Oh, White Glow is looking for someone to heal, he's sort of out of position, but... The Finns haven't taken advantage of this fact. Actually, the Scouts are moving forward oh, onto nice. the high ground. They're pushing now, they will get the second point. Yeah, nice play, nice play. Drying up here, you know. I was just uh, commentating on my own for too long. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> UV got the crits now, they will push out. They have to push out. There they go, they're peeking around the corner. This is Hitman trying to find an angle for these crit stickies, but Luju set are well positioned, holding back on that sewer side. Reds manages to find Santu though with his scatter gun, getting a little bit of engines for Santu's early dominance in this game. They're losing the uh, advantage. Yeah, they've taken a lot of damage, you know, they don't have the luxury of being able to make their players invulnerable with an uber charge, they're using crits, so they sacrifice that for the triple damage. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> out comes a sticky onto mine, the uber has been they forced, the they're, fl they're getting flanked, they're getting flanked, do they know this? It's only one player though, they're not going to be able to do enough damage with this. They do get White Glow and Rico though, big plays from Lizard, Kython picks up Rico on the flank summer. And uh, is going spy on last. Oh! Didn't get spotted, he can back up. He's got to time this out perfectly. Oh, Been he saw him, so... The three-armed spy of Santu is not strong enough to take out Reds there. He just waited long enough to... Could he deny that one. Point. Yeah, at the same time though, the Russians didn't manage to push out. What happened there? Why did they fail that push? They countered them really good, pushing from the bottom right with Uber against Kritz, so... They managed to get the picks on UV and uh, fall back to second. Yeah, I wonder, are they running Crits Creek right now? I'm trying to find White Glow. Click, click, two. click. Yeah, it's <laughs> too many clicks. <laughs> it's normal, <laughs> normal Uber now. Yeah, it's going to be Uber versus Uber, but a big disadvantage here for White Glow. He's still building here as uh, Hothi comes in. Lizard leading with the big damage here. 
didn't man manage to find anyone. They need to make a play for the point at the same time. Oh, I think they've wasted this Uber. They're wasting it, but they can still cap it if they focus the heavy together. He doesn't have the Uber yet. Oh, they might just oh, get this. Oh, they made it. I mean, that last point is one that you can, you can really uh, abuse the defenders if they choose to defend from the top. Yeah, Pyro is a really good defense. I don't know why they didn't use it. But it's a new <laughs> mid now, and UV has to get it. It's already yeah, freezing. Are they running crits? Set. Are they running crits? No, it's normal. No, it's normal versus normal. This isn't Russian tactics. What? <laughs> They're not going even aggressive. They're going Lizard to is dealing up. so much damage on the soldier scouts. Really well played by Lizard. Oh, oh Rico cool. saves his medic as well from Kaiton jumping in there. Santos is going down. It's UV. They have to push really fast. Yeah, they really need to wipe them out here. They should just keep going balls to the wall, trying to clean up all those remaining Lutu set players. That's Jose and they will Kaito push on right Tumpelola. Yeah, they will push right away, trying to get the point as fast as they can. And both teams will have Uber by the time this push comes in, so the Russians might want to chill out. They, it's going to be 6 versus 6 as uh, Mine spawns as Sniper. Gonna use the scope that he is just infamous for. It's double sniper actually, Santi and mine both sniping. Ooh. Blade suicide for nothing. And let's see Santi. You watch mind. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a smart play here because they can just stand and spawn, take a shot and then change the scout. Yep. Their team is not gonna be in any danger but because they have the Uber charge, they can save all their players. Just taking advantage of these long sight lines here. But the Russians are trying to make something happen. They're sitting back. They've got Blade to respawn as heavy. This must be their strategy. They suicided him in there. They're going to push in with the Uber Force it and then come back with a heavy probably. They're on the bottom right. No picks yet. They're going to the point. Yeah, that was a better attempt from Reds to actually get some time on the point compared to Lutuset's effort. But. The Uber just got forced off so early there, I mean, they just got totally out-positioned by the Finns and... Yeah, just... and they got wiped. Rick, Rico's on last. He's going back up. <laughs> Will he make it? Yes. He's got it! He, he did clutches it. it! Wow, big plays there from big play Rico. Rico. He's got an Irish flag on ETF 12, so I'm going to claim that one for <laughs> Ireland. I don't think he is actually Irish though. Nah. I, I could be wrong. I think he's Russian. My Irish comrade. Hitman is faster to mid. Way faster. He's sticking up the Swiss. Oh, I've got a... Uh, I'll tell you after this middle, but... It, again, the, the Finns are... Getting up on the high ground, but... They've just been Hitman beat up there as Hitman is just doing big damage with those stickies. Waiting for the soldiers to jump up and then focusing them down with his stickies and... That's three players down for Lutu said. A real advantage here for the Russians. They could just push straight ahead They're here and try and crush Fierce. They're pushing from Suez. They, they will force the Uber, but they can pick the demo one. No, jump back. Yeah, that was smart play from Lizard there. As the demo man came out, he didn't focus him, he didn't try and do damage to him, he just spammed the door where the medic would have had to come out, really forcing Jose to use his Uber to save himself and his demo man. But that allowed them to milk a little bit of an advantage, and now they've got two players down, and things might just be turned on their heads. As it is, Lutu set coming back into middle here. But they've got a two man advantage, and even that. The Russians aren't even going to contest it. UV ninjas getting right out of there. They are really terrified. It's really unexpected from them because I used to play them, and they're really, really aggressive. Seems like they changed their game style. Just got a message from Targus there. He says, "Hi, can I cast <laughs> as well? I can come to help Reveral. Tell him <laughs> if you learn English, you can come and cast." <laughs> <laughs> I love you, hey, Targus. And Reveral. <laughs> the red is on sniper. Yeah, yeah, so I guess this is why they're gonna play quite defensive. They know it's equal overs. They're just trying to bait some of the Finnish players out into yeah. his scope, and they do. Reds is waiting for that pick. Mine should have known better. Being a sniper himself, he does get body shot there, that though, and that's really gonna allow the Russians to push. They're going for it, man. Nice it's play for popped second. off. Oh! They were forced before. You've still got the Uber. 
and now they're close. Oh, he's gonna go down here as well. Oh, wow. Mine is going sniper, yeah. It's a tough situation there for Tumpelol, you know. He feels that he should go in to get the force off, but at the same time, jumping away, his medic's gonna die. Yeah, but the medic was gonna die anyway, even if Tumpelo didn't came. It's the smartest play to do, to try to force the medic, so they still have a chance on last or second. Yeah, now he, it's gonna be a while before he spawns. They're not gonna have any heals though to defend Spire, so they might lose this one pretty quickly, but the Russians are taking the Russians, off the yeah. gas. They're not taking pushing too time. quickly. They're taking their time, and it's only 8 minutes left. Do they not realize that they're losing by two rounds? What's going on? <laughs> no scoreboard for the Russians. <laughs> Only crits. Oh, there's a bit of revenge for mine to body shots reds right there in the pretty mine much the same going position. To the computer room. Wonder what sort if of angle we can down, find there. Good to set gonna push. I think they don't have a demo in the fins. Uh, the Russians. Hmm, mine lands a body shot onto a scout, but yeah, can't actually UV, get a kill. The UV will fall on mid then, and the uh, good to set went back. This isn't they working out well for UV at all. Yeah. Why did they wait and then get forced? I'm sure that wasn't their plan, but this is. Uh, I don't know, man. It's pretty they disastrous. They seem to be unfocused today. Oh, mind headshot onto Reds right there, and the uh, Looty set are just clearing out space here, allowing their sniper to do work, forcing back the Russian onslaught, and UV gaming are just looking a bit flaccid here. They don't look like they've got. Oh, but they've taken their eye off the ball there, allowing Forsaken to just walk around the corner. Lizard was looking left when he should have been looking right, and now it's Lutu set of being forced. And White Glow has got 70% over them. Maybe gonna get it in time to block here if they put on a little Maybe bit of pressure. Maybe they block it. Yeah, they're gonna block it, I think. Hitman yeah, goes down already, though. Blade is not gonna jump. Oh, they're they've had second blocks. They proceed out, man. They've proceed Dumpel out. Dumpelol on last. He's going for the medic. One rocket's good. He is jumps he for the make second. It? He's the he made it. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, lovely. And the big man advantage here, no medic. This should surely be another Lutus uh, cap. Yes, they've done it, man. It's four to one with six minutes left. It's looking like a, a tough task for the the Russians, the, Russians the UV ninjas back. to come back. What do you think, man? Can they do it? Three rounds in six minutes is really tight. If they want to do it, they need to. Annihilate. They've really got crits! Annihilate. They've got crits! <laughs> Let's see if they're going aggressive enough to use their crits. We saw in the last the last round they used it, they sort of lost the initial middle fight but backed out and came in with the crits. I wonder will the Finns spot it in time, but it's going all out aggression here. They're trying to focus actually on the left one side. For one. There's a soldier on to White Glow though, he does go he, he he's not it. gonna get that crits creak in time. Yeah, so Sacrificed their medic for the point, they're gonna get the point, but uh, they've lost that crit so they need it. They yeah, need it some Jose fast rounds here. They need it a wipe, they need it a wipe to get some fast rounds on the board and right now to set even the though, Uber to defend. They haven't capped the middle yet either, like they're really No, it's they're taking their time. They're Blue are gonna be able to block this, yeah. Are they going to? Yeah, they're going from computer. They Uber and they're blocking the point. That's probably a, a good situation for White Glow to be honest. Now he's got the crit advantage and there's already a little bit of cap time on that point so it's going to take a few seconds longer than it should have to cap here for Lutu set. And, uh, down. Oh wow. The clock That's is ticking, we've got no time. 70% crits right now. I think they're going to be dealing out some sick crit damage but at the minute they're trying to shore up their flanks, they think there's a few leaks there and they've allowed Tumpelol to just come in on that Ooh. high ground, he takes out Wiggle, takes out for a second on Tumpelol that little is edge. to watch as I said before. Oh, you knew your stuff, Revro. Yeah, he destroyed us to be honest on Snake Water. A great read on the situation there. Just uh, saw that the combo was distracted looking left and he jumped in on top, used that little edge, that height advantage just to... Beast him with ease. Right now we see Hitman holding close on the right side, but he's not going to be on the left whenever Lutus are coming in here. He's pretty much doing nothing for his team at the minute. The Uber gets popped off, but they're going to lose two players straight off the bat. Forsaken and Blade getting stuck behind. Now it's all on uh, their demo man, Hitman. He needs to get stickies on the point. 
and he needs to help his scouts out, but Reds and Rico are yeah, down, and this is looking terrible. And it's good to sit down again. Disappointing. But to be expected, I think it was always going to be tough for UV Ninja to come back on this first map. CP there, process. There is no chance. I call it 6-1 six, six to Ludo set. I call wow. it. Wow. Yeah. I have the Reveral confidence has in them. spoken. Reveral has spoken. There you go, guys. <laughs> and it seems that Hitman is going to get down. He's really weak. Yeah, he's set. taking a lot of bombing pressure. comes in though. No one's covering Waiko here, everyone's looking forward. Oh, he got, <laughs> he got the Uber, so he got crits, and he's got crits, he's got crits, there's a scout on him though. He's just not oh, getting the cover right now, he can only defend himself so many times, but... Yeah, he's de he died too many times in this game, in my opinion. Uh, the Russian's really not focused, no, no one's taking responsibility there, like someone has to just maybe pocket a little bit more and keep the medic alive, especially when you're, you know you've got an advantage with Kritzkrieg, but they're just... They're playing too greedy, man, you know, they're not... They're going chasing for the kills. Frags. Yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah, they're chasing uh, the flags and not defending the medic. I think it's because the soldier, Blade, they just traded Ordinator for Blade, and Ordinator used to be the pocket for this, for this team. Yeah, that's very true. We're gonna single out Blade there. You know, he's not doing his <laughs> yeah, job. Yeah, he's doing, not doing his job, man. This is his performance review, and he is just not living up to standards right now. You are pushing to middle. Yeah, they've got to push. Only two minutes left and they've got four rounds down. They're trying to save some face here, get around in the board, but Tumple all just jumps in like a homing missile and destroys White Glow there. No medic for the Russians again. The they use the crits, Lutuset use the crits. Oh, Lutuset with the crits, yeah. we missed that one. Yeah, we our, missed it. Maybe our fans on Source TV were shouting, screaming that this was going to happen, but we finally seen it and it was just too late for us there. Hitman is hiding in computer rooms, he's gonna get behind Bluetooth set if he's not getting spotted. <laughs> he got spotted, he was called, and he's gonna get down from Kafa now. Yeah, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, Santi wants the frag, but. Tumble got, yeah. tries to steal it, Santu gets it in the end. Red's on to Kaiton though, on the spiral. The Russians have managed to block this. The points. It's in a good hand, Big plays, they've got a little bit of a positional advantage, but they've got no medic there to heal them. They've had to fall back, allowing the Finns to come in and take Spire. They do have a chance Lutus, to make oh, it 6 1. Mind got wide glow, full over advantage, full crits advantage even. Your 6 1 prediction's looking good, they're making yeah. their way towards the point here. It's right? gonna happen, man, I tell you. And it's 6 1. GG, man. There you go, guys, never die Reveral. He knows his shit. Who's the win of the match? Oh wow, you, you beat me to the punch. I'd have to go for uh, Santu there. I thought he was just playing really well throughout the match. I suppose Tumple all was good as well, but uh, I think Santu was just solid all round. Did a great job at destroying the Russian scout combo. Lutu said uh, scouts are really strong, the animals, and they're playing well together. So yeah, I call it for Santu as well. Oh wow, I thought you were going to say Tumple all. I thought you just no, loved that good. guy. No, he was good, he was good. I love him. Yeah, he's a really good soldier, but um, Santu and mine are really sick. I have to vote for them this time. Okay, uh, Tarka says uh, Reveril is handsome, so that will just be a little nugget of information, a pearl of wisdom to finish off this map. This has been Vanilla TV covering the ETF2L Season 13 powered by TT Esports Division 1 Week 5 fixture between Lutu Set and UV Ninjas. This has been the first map. CP process, stay tuned for CP Badlands, it's coming up right now, I am admirable, be listening to me with Reveral and Hui on the stream, shout out to Hui, our Lithuanian streamer, stay tuned for the segment.